Granny. How'd you like my termite show? Yeah, they they hatch. Every time, like, the first rains come, the next time the sun comes out and shines on the ground, they all come out. And it's like they come out by the thousands. It's trippy. It's very trippy. Um, yeah, anyway, these redwood trees are full of them. There's really nothing homeowners can do. You treat your house every now and then and wait until they get bad again, do it over. <laughs> That's life under these redwood trees. Speaking of redwood trees, there's already conspiracy theories going on around the California fires. And you know how I just love dashing conspiracy theories to the ground. First of all, people are saying, well, the redwood trees didn't burn. So it must have been an unnatural kind of fire, like some kind of space age weapons or lasers or I don't know. They're coming up with some crazy stuff. Well, people don't realize redwood trees are mostly water. They don't burn like pine trees do. And these fires burned very fast. They went racing through the fuel that was ready and available, like paper, wooden structures, um, propane, things like that. And they really just kind of whizzed over things like landscaping in most areas. So people are looking at these pictures and they're going, well, look, you know, the bush didn't burn, but the house burned. It's very mysterious. They must have evacuated all the people and then went in and burned the houses. It was a government conspiracy. Yeah, that's it. It's the government. I mean, <laughs> there's some crazy stories going on out there. Well, in the middle of the fire, in the center of these burn areas, it got hot enough to melt metal and glass. And if you look at those areas, you'll notice that there really is no landscaping left. There's a few redwood trees. The leaves are kind of gone, but they'll stand for another, another thousand years. They're amazing, amazing trees. Um, so, you know, people are getting a little bit carried away with everything. It just seems like every disaster, there's some conspiracy theory to go with it. Another thing is that on the 16th, they arrested a man for having started a fire in Santa Rosa. This was on the 16th, so a long time after the major fires started. But apparently there was a, a small fire, very small fire. One deputy put it out. Um, and the guy was walking away from this little fire with a fire extinguisher and a lighter. So, you know, it looked a little bit suspicious, and maybe he did start a fire. He said he started it to stay warm. Um, maybe he had the fire extinguisher because he was a safe little camper. I don't know. In any case, the man was guilty of setting one fire. He happened to be Mexican. He happened to be illegal. And he also was homeless. So I'm on the internet yesterday and all these people are saying, oh, they arrested the arsonist that set all the fires in California. And it's like, are you kidding me? A homeless Mexican immigrant traveled the length of California and set 17 fires in a couple of hours? I mean, people aren't using their brains. They're just not using their brains. Their brains, their good little brains that the good Lord gave them. Use your brain, you guys. When you look at the news, be discerning. Look at the sources where the stories are coming from. Trace them back to their beginnings. Um, a lot of the times it's, it's Alex Jones or it's Breitbart or it's somebody like that that has taken a real story and just conflated it with all kinds of information that doesn't belong there. So just be careful, you guys. Don't let yourselves get alarmed by the latest story that's going around about some conspiracy. I mean, there might be conspiracies in the world, but they're not all over the place all the time, and there's not a conspiracy behind everything. <laughs> so let's just all take a deep breath. And keep fighting it. Um, 
I started on these new meds, they seem to be having an effect. They seem to be helping me. Um, I've only been on them a couple of days. These are not the kind, it's not a kind of medication that you have to wait a couple of weeks to see how it's going to work. You know within a day or two. And it really does seem to be making a difference. I had kind of resigned myself to the fact that they were going to put me on stimulants. This is not a stimulant. It's actually the opposite of a stimulant. But I'm just chill. I mean, I'm just chill. I'm not beating myself up internally. Um, I only forgot one thing this morning, and I didn't go out to lunch over it. I think I think I'm seeing a difference. Um, they may need to increase the dosage a little bit. We'll see. But anyway, so that's good news. Um, Maya's fine. Mike's fine. The whole fam family is just fine. Um, I feel good today. It's a beautiful Sunday. Sundays are always beautiful. Church was good. We had three visitors. Oh my goodness, that made eight of us this morning. It was cool. Um, anyway, uh, I'm just going to go about my day, and if I come up with something else interesting to do, I'll stick it on here. I don't know if I ever showed you guys my 100-year-old teddy bear. This was given to me by an old woman. She was just a friend, and all I did was help her move one time. And I said, oh, look at the beautiful teddy bear. I said, this must be from the turn of the century. And she said, oh, it is. You, you take him home. And I said, I couldn't do that. And I was like, she said, I don't need that thing hanging around here anymore. Just take it. So I adopted him. And he has no eyes. But he is 100 years old. Oh, he has one eye. There's one eye. The other eye is missing. But I think if I replaced it with some kind of a new eye, it would just ruin him. So He's the way he is, and he's wonderful. He's one of the original teddy bears, named after Teddy Roosevelt. And this is my Native American flute. It's made out of cedar. It's beautiful. And this is my coonskin cap. Because you got to have one. And this is my messy dining room table. Uh-oh. Duck died. Set up, duck. He's been there since Easter. <laughs> And that's my harmonica. 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 Stay happy. Stay healthy. Don't forget Granny loves you. See you soon, guys. Bye.